What's up guys? It is IMAX Plays. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving back into Baseball 9 as we introduce one of Japan's most dominant young pitchers into the game, none other than Roki Sasaki. Known as the monster, he had 505 strikeouts and 394 innings pitched. Sasaki has been stunning the world with his blazing 100 mile per hour fastball and jaw dropping splitter. Now we're bringing all that heat to Baseball 9, but here's the question on everyone's mind. Where will Sasaki play in 2025? Will he continue to dominate in NPB with the Marines? Or will he take his talents to the MLB and join a team like the Yankees or Dodgers? Let me know in the comments where you think Sasaki will end up. Stay tuned as we show you how to unleash Sasaki's arsenal in the game. And let's see if anyone can hit that unhittable splitter. All right, guys, let's head into our lineup. Let's go to our pitchers and let's customize Roki Sasaki. So we're going to go ahead and customize this diamond player we have right here. Let's go ahead and change his name to Roki Sasaki. His jersey number in the World Baseball Classic on Team Japan was jersey number 14. So we will go with that. He bats right and throws right, so we got that set up. As far as the cap, he didn't really curve it too much and he didn't keep it too flat. So we're gonna go with the standard one right here. For the face guys, it's really up to you and what you guys wanna use. I really do like this one. But since he doesn't have facial hair, we're just going to go ahead and I think we're just going to go with this one, guys. We'll go with this one for 31,000 coins. My bad, editor. My bad, bro. We'll go with this one for 24,000 coins. As far as the eye black, he doesn't use it, so we could remove that right here. For the body, guys, he is 6'2", but he is slender, so we'll keep this build right here. For the motion, guys, now this is one I kind of looked at a lot of these motions. He does have, like, somewhat of a batting stance on the mound. Um, I really like this one right here for him. Special number five, 330 gems. I do have some more options for you guys because I also like this one. Overhand seven is only 20,000 coins. And he does kind of have that leg lift at the end of his windup. So I'm thinking these two or overhand 12 for 200 gems. Not that one. So overhand 12, overhand seven or special six guys. Never mind. That's his current one. Sorry guys. Sorry. So here are the options again. Special five overhand 7 or overhand 12 i'm not sure which one i like the best guys i think i'm gonna go with special five guys i really do like this one if you guys only have coins you don't want to spend the gems yeah guys we're going with special five we're dropping 330 gems on this one for the pitch types guys now we got to mess with this arsenal because we have so many equipped already so we're definitely keeping the 14 fastball um he definitely needs the splitter so we're gonna have to swap out one of the pitches we have for him right now i think i'm gonna get rid of the changeup and make that his splitter um in the world baseball classic they actually did list his splitter as a fork ball so let me see if we can equip that actually as well let's equip the fork ball just in case we'll swap out the slider and we can actually add the newest pitch in the game the sweeper did I just swap something out? I'm confused. So let me see what we have so far. Yeah, I did. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Two hours later. I'd like to add the sweeper, but I want to swap one out. I'm going to take out the screwball. So then we could reorder them. So fastball one, splitter second, forkball third. We'll do sinker fourth, sweeper fifth, and cutter sixth. So I'm really not too familiar with Roki Sasaki's pitch arsenal, guys. That's all completely new to me because... I did just try to look at it in MLB The Show and he's not in it, so I don't have the newest Baseball Spirits game, so I can't look at it there. All we know, all I know, is the heater and the splitter, guys. So we got those. Every other pitch is really up to you guys. This is what I'm going to go with. And let's go ahead and go to gear, guys. So for the gear, he did use a yellow baseball mitt in the World Baseball Classic, so I'm probably going to use that one right there. Actually, the gold one is pretty sick, too. But we're just going to drop 20,000 points. Let's go with this one. The cleats. I need to take a look at what type of cleats he used. So it did look like he had some type of navy blue cleats. They could have been black, but they did look like dark blue to me. So I'm thinking these are these. I might go with these right here. No glasses, guys. We got him pretty set up so far. Let's go to accessories. See what we can hook him up with. We definitely want to give him these. So let me go to the pictures I'm not using at the moment. Joe Kelly hasn't been getting a lot of time on the mouth. So let's take away the necklace. Let's take away the gold watch. Earrings, you can keep those. Let's give them to Roki. So we got him with the necklace. Let's give him that watch for more control. As far as the earrings go, we could just spend a couple thousand coins on this one right here. 
or even these. I think I'm going to give them these right here. Give them some more stamina. So here we have it, guys. Roki Sasaki added into Baseball 9. He is only a diamond tier right now. I'm going to grind out two prime badges real quick so we can make him prime tier, guys. We got to make him prime tier for his debut and really dominate in this game. So let me get back to the grind and we will be right back. All right, guys. 2,000. 599 button clicks later we finally got to the final prime badge we need we're gonna simulate this if we lose i'm gonna be extremely angry but we won guys we got that final prime badge let's make roki sasaki prime tier right now all right guys the moment of truth time to hit that upgrade button from diamond to prime tier let's go guys 550,000 coins five prime tier badges roki sasaki now 146 rating, pretty good guys. Let's go ahead and continue upgrading him. Let's see how far we can get him. Can we get him to 150 with what we have so far? Wait a second, max level. Okay, here we go. Can we get him to 150? I think we might be able to pull it off, guys. I don't know, guys. 149, we're probably gonna have to grind the rest out. Yeah, look, it's going up pretty slow. Anyways, we're giving them all of these XP drinks and we'll just have to earn the rest of it. So with that, we've got a lot of attribute points now. Let's go ahead and open some of these potential tokens as well. We got 60. So let's see what we can upgrade. The fork ball is green. That's great. If we can get a maxed out fork ball, that'd be amazing. All right, we don't have the rising fastball. So let's get rid of that one. Sinker, we are using power curve. We are not, so swap that one out. We could swap out one more. Let's swap out this fastball right here just to see what we get. The gyro, we don't even have that one all good guys here we go let's get to the attributes let's give him some more control he's at 158 right now let's make it a 160 fastballs at 144 let's make that 150 splitters at 145 we definitely have to upgrade that one 150 so far let's upgrade the fork as well as far as the rest we can give two to the sweeper i think and we'll keep them like this so right now Sasaki's rating is now 149 guys let's go ahead what a better way to show his debut in baseball nine than in the royal two championship against the storms guys storms have a really good lineup as well they got n cabrera he does really great in the regular season 43 home runs he's not even primed here so imagine him in royal one guys let's get to it straight into the game first pitch we are at evergreen ballpark Roki on the mound all prime tiers on the field this is about to be an insane debut guys there he is warming up on the mound vv's on the neck why rivera first batter he's going to face against which angle will we use guys this one this one kind of like this one it's a little offset we'll try all three though let's start him off with the heater guys strike 103 up and in sinker low and away Let's try to finish him off with the splitter, guys. And he grounds out to J-Ram. He throws to Freeman. First out. Let's go, guys. Strike! Strike! I'm wondering how effective the splitter is in the corner or if we should try to be in the opposite zone. That one fell right below the strike zone. And we got the swing and miss. Stay right. Sasaki's dealing already, though. And an infield fly. Out. Great first inning. Let's try to get some runs on the board for him, real quick. Strike. I did not mean to swing at that, guys. I swear. There we go. One run on the board. We will be simulating the rest of the bag and focus on nothing but pitching. But there we have it, guys. We're on the board. Gave him some run support. Let's go ahead and simulate. Here we go. And Cabrera, the Storm's best hitter. Let's try this angle, guys. Strike! Swing and a miss on that heater. Strike! Didn't want anything to do with that splitter. Let's throw another Strike. one. Strike! Perfect splitter. Get some looking. And Cabrera's angry. It's exactly what we wanted to see. And the grounder to Freeman. Out number two. 
We've only thrown 12 pitches so far, guys. Strike! Oh, is that the first hit allowed? He actually got a nice little single off of the splitter right there. Let's see if we can throw the splitter to get a right. ground ball. Takes that one. Strike! Strike two. Let's get him with the fork. Out, Out number three. On to the next, guys. Shohei Otani. We got a bat with Otani. Ball. Good take. Strike. Strike. One, two count. Ball. Let's go, Otani. That is going to be Out. caught by the right fielder. T Sims at the plate. Strike. 104, guys. Chopper back to the mound. Out number one. And we still only have one run ourselves. J Ram up again. Can we get a, another home run? Out. All right, guys. We've only got two strikeouts. Strike. The splitter, oh my goodness, what happened there, guys? That made it past three fielders. Roki was trying to cover third, and everybody else absolutely missed. Strike! Let's try for a grounder, guys. Hopefully one somebody can field. Strike! Our Padilla does not like that splitter at all. Let's see if... Out! It worked. Save! Oh, just line out. No ground out. And Cabrera, here we go. We struck him out the first time. Strike! Battle number two between Roki and N. Cabrera. Ball. Mistake pitch right there. Strike. Ball. Oh my goodness, that was pretty close. Outside. No way, bro. He should have. He should have tagged him. It looked like he almost did. Strike. Pick off attempt, guys. Save. All right, we're getting him with the splitter low and inside right here. Ow! And Harper is there to make the play. Out number three. Still a close game, guys. 1-0. And we bring in another run. So there we go, guys. We are up 2-0. Sasaki back on the mound still. He's only at 35 pitches through Strike! five innings. Well, through four. We're beginning the five right now. Strike! And we get him looking on the splitter. 92.1 on that one. Batter hangs his head in disappointment. Stay right. Strike out. And we get him looking. He's like, no way that was a strike. Yes, it was. Strike out. Strike out. Let's go. We now got five strikeouts. Not bad, guys. How many do you think we will end the game with? Let's see if Babe Ruth can put some more runs on the board. All three batters ground out. So yeah, guys, where do you think Roki's Strike! going to end up? I know you guys are already dropping comments letting me know. But regardless of where he ends up, Strike! will his talent translate to the MLB? I think it will. I mean, the guy throws lasers on the mound. It's going to be great to watch him out. play. I can't wait. One quick out. Strike! Let's get him with that heater. He actually connects with that one for a single. Two outs, one runner on. These guys could still come back. Strike! It's only the top of the sixth. We're only up 2-0. Out! OPD there to make the play. Out number three. And another run for us, guys. 3-0. Round three between N. Cabrera and Roki. Let's go. Strike! Throw that sinker Strike! low and away. Swing and a miss. Can we finish him off with the splitter? We got to. Ball. And we missed the zone, guys. Heater it is. Strike out. And we get him looking 104.3 on the fastball. Two back-to-back -back heaters. Fork ball low and inside. Connects with that one. Out. Grounded out to OPD. Out number two. Let's switch it up. Let's Strike. throw a cutter. That cutter has some crazy movement, guys. Splitter low and inside. Strike. 
Swing and a miss. Strikeout number seven. Let's go, Babe Ruth. Let's bring some runs in. Strike! Fair oh. ball. I wish. Right I should have been a little more patient on that one. But here we go, guys. Otani's got to make something happen. He's 0 for 3 in this championship game. We'll take it. It's a single. Strike. Out. And Otani is caught trying to steal second. Let's get back to the mound, guys. Top of the eighth. The pre bat. Bat flip, bro. He hasn't even seen the pitch yet. And he's over two. Strike. And he's bat flipping in Roki's face. Just Strike. disrespectful. Now we got to sit him back down. Strike out. And our second strikeout against him. And he's still angry about it. Strikeout number eight for Strike. Roki. Let's go for number nine, guys. Strikeout. Strikeout number nine. Strike! Strike! Perfect splitter, low inside. Strike out number 10, let's go. He's heating up, guys. Let's go, we had to crank one out for this video. Our second home run of the game. Harper's three for three. He might take the MVP home. And these guys put more on the board. Top of the ninth. Let's go. Let's get the shutout, Roki. We haven't been able to strike out Y Rivera. I think he's been connecting with that splitter. So, yeah, look, every time he'll connect with it. He hasn't gotten on base, but he likes to swing at the splitter. Perfect pitch. Let's go. The potential final out right here, guys. Strike! 103 on that one. Splitter strike! low and away. Here we go, guys. Final strike. strike out! Yes, sir. Loki Sasaki. With the shutout. In the championship game. Team Japan, guys. Let's see who the MVP is. And it is nobody other than the Japanese phenom, Roki Sasaki, guys, in his debut with the IMAX squad. Nine innings pitched, 12 strikeouts. Total batters faced 30 on 81 pitches. 78 of those pitches were strikes. What an amazing debut, guys. Thank you to everybody who watched this video from start to finish. Let me know if you guys will be recruiting him to your squad. And let me know in the comments down below who you'd like to see next. As always, thank you, guys. It is IMAX Play. See you in the next video.